Hello everyone, Suzy Gaming here and welcome back to another War Thunder episode today. We're in dev server. New update is coming really soon. So in previous dev servers, some of the vehicles were not available. Today we're gonna check them out. Uh, Sark Mark VI 2 pounder. What a war machine. This is literally the most adorable tank in game. No questions asked. And there's also 3.3 version of it with bigger cannon. And 50 cal on top of it. 50 cal is bigger than the tank. How is that possible? They have same horsepower. This guy has less vertical guidance. This guy didn't work last time I tried it. So first we're gonna play with this one. Because I'm really curious about this ATGMs. We have no thermal vision. Bad. And we're huge as a tank. Nice. This new branch gives me Churchill 3 inch gun carrier flashbacks. Literally every tank is ugly on its own way. Can we shoot at the first gear? No, unfortunately we need to fully stop. But after the BMP-2M, this could be the best ATGM in game. Because BMP-2M fires 4 ATGMs on the move. And this guy fires 3 ATGMs stationary. Decent movement. I mean, <laughs> it's not a Puma. More like a fat Puma. Let's go full gear. And see our cruising speed. Speeding up really slowly. 40. Yep, now we're stuck kind of. Uh, 40 kph of cruising speed. We can take this guy to the higher tiers. But who wants to do that? Who is suicidal enough? I mean, definitely a meme machine, that's for sure, by the look of it. Doesn't have scouting capability. We have 26 smoke grenades. We're launching them one by one. What? How I cannot pen that? Ridiculous. What the heck is that? I have 120 of pen. Something is wrong. Let's see. What about our wheels? Unfortunately, only frontal two are turning. Still a good turn time though. Not like T55 he wants. Now this guy, it has maximum pen of 89. It has double machine gun on top and one machine gun in the turret. Same engine, same hull. I mean, it's straight out of Mad Max, not gonna lie. First it fires a big smoke screen, after that one by one separately. Hold on a second. Here it says it has three crew members. X-Ray says we have four, so that's a mistake, okay. Oh, here is three, okay. Upgraded version is less survivable then. Okay, and now, now, now we're gonna test this new Raider AA. It will be after Chieftain Marksman. Jesus Christ. That's what I was talking about in the first dev server video. I think it's the highest vehicle. Legit. When the antenna is open. You can grill something on top of this. There's enough room for lots of beef. Why is it so big though? Is there an advantage for it? It still has 10 kilometers of range like other radar AAs. Oh, 
our highest span is 68. Enough to kill Sideway maybe, it's really hard. You're gonna struggle basically against heavy armor. Because uh, Chieftain Marksman can kill some tanks frontally. Uh, this new AA will not be able to do that. 127 mil. And this is also new, TTD. Looks like a Leopard 4. Good turret, lots of layers of armor. 152 millimeter. 40 kph cruising speed. What's our reverse speed? Minus 31. Just like Leopard. And no machine gun. Yep, we have no machine gun. What was the reverse speed of this guy? I didn't check. Oh, minus 20. Alright. They increased the BR of the Polish Leopard, which is the upcoming squadron vehicle. As you can see, Devs increased its BR to 10.7 from 10.0. Reason is obviously balance. German top tier tanks have incredibly high victory rate. And that's why they don't want to add another Leopard 2A4 to the player. Because allies are suffering enough. I kind of get what Gaijin is doing here. I think next updates are gonna be about balancing the Axis forces at the top tier. How can they do it? Just like they increased the reloading time of the Leopard 2A6, just like they're doing now, which giving new weapon systems and new vehicles to the Allies. Germany's victor rate can drop tremendously in next update. Because lots of beginner players, they're gonna get this vehicle by joining the squadron, and they don't have anything else in the lineup. They're just gonna go with this and maybe they're gonna stick Panzer 3 next to the lineup. It's gonna be a total shit show. If you wanna check the footage from the first dev server, click right top corner. But that's it. I'm gonna see you next time. Peace out.